Helix comes to iPhone from the same person that brought us 868 Pack. And even though it's a much less cognitive uh, kind of game than that, it has the same sort of oppressive computer uh, fighting from inside the machine kind of idea to it. But actually, it seems to me kind of a tragic tale. Here you play as a weird sort of fried egg alien idol thing. It's just trying to make its way in the world. It's the only thing we can see in this tiny little one-screen universe that is take place on a circuit board. As you're attacked all the while by weird two shapes. Um, only one of these shapes is really out to get you, the board-like square that can fry you from afar. And you have to run that through. Whereas everything else, it just seems to be dawdling by, just minding its own business. Or indeed trying to reach out to you for some sort of contact. They don't know that that contact to you is instantly fatal, and so you as little eye thing have to lead a merry dance all over the screen, trying to pick your way into safety. But fortunately, in so doing, you wind up inevitably drawing running a circle around these abstract shapes, which for some reason sends them into oblivion. You never ask for this bloodshed on your hand, little eye thing, but that's what you have. And that's Helix. A casual single screen, uh, little arcadey high school chaser. It gives you points every time you complete a circle of death. There's three game modes, such as they are, but they really translate into three difficulty settings. Some monsters require being run around twice, um, others require being run around in a specific direction. Really, that's kind of it. Um, the little eye thing is a little bit floaty, it has a weird little sense of inertia that takes some getting used to. Uh, but once you're used to it, you're used to it, and you're able to rack up decent scores, um, which attract the game center, although they seem to sink fairly inconsistently. And it's all rather fun, and nice looking in a weird way, and and certainly sounding good as well, with a great sort of oppressive electronic score. Um, but there's not really anything that would make it stick out and make it stay on the for for long. Um, it's fun. It's just not something you'd be sent loopy over. <laughs> for more running around in circles, I look at kaijupop.com.